Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. It's a little review of my Recon, uh, Recon 1, I almost said Recon Scout. Uh, I bought this knife, I wanted something a little bit bigger. I used to carry a, uh, a Benchmade uh, Griptilian, but the one that's upgraded, not with the, uh, not the standard one, but I paid a lot more for the one with the better steel and uh, G10 handles and blah, blah, blah good knife but it was uh, I don't know I, I just like buying knives so I was like you know I want something bigger and this this thing is big I have extra large hands and there's a lot of real estate and the problem with big knives is the way I carry them what we can see in my overalls I always carry a knife and a flashlight and uh, right now I'm carrying my uh, Bench made uh, Osborne, but I mean, you see the size difference. It's a much bigger knife. I mean, much much bigger knife. Um, G10 handles, no metal liners. Um, weight isn't always it is always an issue because I carry everything in my pockets, um, and uh, I really liked the thin design. This knife, for its size, is relatively light. I don't know. Oh, let's see. Actually, I do have a scale. Let's see what she says. Actually, probably too heavy for the scale. Yep, too heavy for the scale. But uh, in in hand, you know, it, it's not. It's bulky. It's big, but you know, it's it slips in real thin, nice, um, and. Uh, yeah, the only grab I have about this guy is that it was a it's pocket clip. It's way too small and way too stiff. This thing is just really, really stiff. And I feel if you uh, bent it out a little bit to make it not so stiff, it would just be loose. Um, I don't feel there's an in-between. Uh, this, this will wear your pants or your pockets out or whatever you uh, are slipping it in and out of. This G10 has a rough scale on it it's just gonna it's just gonna file it away every time you put your knife in and out but uh yeah so this knife's in uh s35 vn which is a fantastic steel um cold steel i i don't know about their heat treat but i don't know if they leave it a little soft but uh it, it holds an edge but not like uh other brands who use the same steel. They do a little better heat treat on it. But uh, yeah, no, this is a great freaking knife. Um, you can pull it back here, you can chop with it. I mean, the way they do their lock, I can't remember the name of their tri triad lock. I don't remember, but I mean, it's really strong. So, sorry about that. Son came out and uh, asked me a question on how to build a Lego gun. But yeah, anyways, this uh, it's a good knife. I think they're about a hundred bucks. Um, good thick steel on there. I mean, it it's it's worth it. So yeah, if you get a chance to pick one up, pick one up. You won't regret it. They come in smaller sizes. I think this is the big one. They come in Tanto versions, and uh, I can't remember. I think there's three different blade styles, but I'm I'm not sure. I like the Bowie kind of swedge look, so. Yep. Yeah.